here at DevOps Belgium, and I'm with Jen Tong, developer advocate at Google. So you're giving a few talks about a mobile development platform, or you're demonstrating the mobile development platform. Could you tell me a bit about it? Is it Firebase? Yep. Yeah, it's called Firebase. Uh, and Firebase is, I use it for a lot of my mobile development hacking. Uh, it is a platform as a service that was originally really focused on web development, but it's kind of hit its stride with mobile development. And it, it's a lot of fun to use. And I use it in a lot of my projects, so it ends up working its way into a lot of my talks. And what distinguishes it as a platform? So the way I kind of think about it is it's kind of like a bag of different goodies that can all stand alone, but also integrate really well with each other. So the thing that makes it different depends on which part of that bag of goodies you work with. Um, but the, the one that I tend to spend the most time with is the real-time database which is a kind of like a big ball of JSON in the sky. Uh, but what makes it really special is that the client libraries do a lot of the regular boilerplate code and heavy lifting that you do when you write an internet-connected mobile application. So it makes the development process very, very rapid. Uh, rapid, and uh, you, know, you get to the point of having a working prototype really quickly, which is a lot of fun. So can you give me an example of an application that you might build using it? Maybe like, um, so I'm, I haven't done any mobile development application. Mm -hmm. any mobile application development. So I wouldn't really know where to start as a beginner. I wouldn't know what language I need to learn, what I need to look at, if I could, if it's as easy to, to drop in libraries as it is for non-mobile application development, like mm -hmm. a capture library or something. Yep, so kind of our hello world on Firebase is a chat program, because it is something that traditionally requires a non-negligible amount of back-end stuff that has to be spun up. And you can do a completely serverless, and it kind of hits the, the sweet spot of user-generated data that you want to sync across a bunch of different clients in real time. And in terms of like languages and libraries, we have languages, uh, we have libraries for popular mobile development, like uh, iOS, um, which plays well with Objective-C and Swift, uh, Java, Android, although I've been packing mostly in Kotlin these days, and it, it plays pretty well with Kotlin. And then um, JavaScript with integrations with Angular and React and stuff like that. And all of the features of the real-time database, my favorite feature on Firebase is pretty consistently available across all of those libraries, but the libraries still manage to kind of capture what makes those languages good, um, which makes them, uh, makes them excel at their particular purpose. So you, uh, hopefully you don't have to learn any new languages. You can just pick up something you already know and start working with it. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks.